So it's finally time to take my observing skills into space. I've been meaning to play the Universal Sandbox for a while now. I'm gonna do a couple experiments on the Earth, maybe kill a few million people, I don't know. Should be fun. But what if the sun was a planet? I don't know why I'm sounding like Michael from Vsauce, I'm, but I'm, I'm curious. I guess it's got moons and it's, or, I don't see how this is a planet, to be honest, but okay, it, yeah. I guess because it's moving and it's not stationary, maybe, maybe that's what they're trying to do. Okay, well, I don't really like this, so let's just go ahead, boom, okay. And now what happens to every, well, I like how everyone else still survive. They're just like, okay, we're out of here, N the party's over. Okay, here we go. Maybe not a planet, but what about Earth's moon? How small would this, what kind of impact would that have if we had like a little mini sun just revolving around us? I mean, it's gotta be way smaller. This is obviously gonna destroy us, I think, instantly, so we need to do something about this. I guess I could always just lower the temperature. That would, no, that probably, uh, we would still get pulled immediately in and just crash and burn. So yeah, that probably won't be enough, but we could still do that later. So I guess we'll just do mass of the moon and like radius of the moon and density of the moon, I guess all those. Oh wow, this immediately doesn't even look like the sun anymore, so you, you lower the mass and it looks like that? Is that normal? Who said that? What's up with all these colors, by the way? Are, I think I'm looking at all of the things that are revolving or orbiting Earth. Is that what's going on? Okay, so now I've made it a lot tinier, so it looks like it won't even really have an impact. I mean, you can barely see it. It looks as bright as the moon, kind of. Is, is that what, what it's trying to say? Oh. Oh, it looks really strange. Looks like I definitely did something wrong, to be honest. Let's bring it in a little bit closer to the Earth. That way, at least we can see, I don't know, some sort of a impact. Are we, yeah, we're doing that kind of. I'm also a little bit worried about this orbit here. Are you gonna, please don't run into the Earth. That was not the intention, but that would be kind of cool too, I guess. Should we put its orbit at light speed? That might not be a bad idea. Okay, maybe, maybe later, not, not yet. It's gonna take 26 days to get around the Earth. What's the moon? The moon is, oh man, I'm gonna sound so stupid. I don't know nothing about space. I got, I got lots to learn. What, 30? <laughs> I don't remember. What would this do to the waves too? Since, uh, well, this is the size of the moon. So I'm assuming like waves on earth won't really change unless I move the, di yeah, the distance might be different from the moon. I don't know. I feel like I did this wrong, but let's just go ahead and go for it. Oh wait, why, why are you blowing up? Is it because the sun can't, does it not function? as well? Is it because it's like a giant gas thing? Well, can we at least get the gas to fall around us? Oh yeah, it's just going away. Okay, well, that, that, <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, but wait a second. No, it did work. It's just really weird and tiny. What is this, like the core? What is, what is this, metal or something, composition? It's just hydrogen. Okay, so there's just a black ball of hydrogen. It, maybe we can change that actually. Can I? Yeah, let's add some stuff. What happens if I put iron in there? Can we put some iron in there? No, nothing. Let's let's bring back the fire. And oh, we just turned it into a I don't know skin growth. Well, I guess I could always just change it back to the moon, can't I? Yeah, because it's super tiny. It's not even close. Okay, yeah. Well, mass of the moon and then radius of the moon. Whoa! What did I do? I might have just stumbled upon some crazy experiment. Earth. What? I, I think I just exploded everything. Did I destroy the entire solar system? Earth Nova. I think I caused <laughs> the next Big Bang. Oh wow, I blew something up. Whoa! What did I do? All right, what? Oh, I, yeah, I definitely blew something up. I, I did something wrong. Man, I need to, uh, I, I should be a nuclear scientist. Pretty sure everything would go fine. Hey, you gotta admit, things look beautiful though. I will say that. I made this solar system look way prettier, way nicer. Oh, is this like a red dwarf now or something? All I did is like increase the ma- Okay. So, you definitely don't want the sun as a moon. That's what I learned. Don't know if you were curious about that. Not sure if anyone wondered, but yeah, don't do that. Wait, you know, the sun is still here. I just like blew a bunch of things out of the way. The time is- Okay, let's, let's increase the time because it's only going by like- couple hours. Oh yeah, I just shot things away. We've got like Jupiter, Neptune, everything is just uh, <laughs> going in the exact opposite direction. Hey, Saturn looks a little different. Oh, never mind. Saturn looks beautiful, I was gonna say. So we didn't mess with the composition of any planets at all, I, I don't think. Will it stabilize? It's looking like it probably won't stabilize. It, I, is it twerking? It looks like it's twerking. Something is definitely happening to the space-time continuum. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I'm about to blow up my computer. All right, let's try that again. Maybe if we use a different star, different star type, that might work. So, 
let's just put, I don't know how much distance I should, I just would like it to stay alive. I do really like how the earth now doesn't have a night though, or it barely does actually, so on the edges it will. That would be terrible, you have like one hour of sleep and and that's it. It's good. Well, I don't know, that doesn't seem that bad. I guess before I mess with anything, let's just see if this works. I'd like to mess with the, the size and stuff, but le yeah, le let me just see, kind of, please, please work. What? Oh, we just shot it out of the- Oh! Oh, I heard this going in the exact opposite direction. We basically slingshotted it around that- Oh, because it's- What's it? That ma- The density? The mass? Okay, well, now Earth's gonna have some problems. Oh, wait, is Earth even a thing? Oh. Earth isn't really a thing. I mean, still looks alright. I can still see the continents. Things are, uh, fine. Surface temperature's going down. It's- It's okay. I mean, it was at 200 degrees Celsius. Now it is- Slowly, uh, not that, and it's probably because it's gonna be out there with Pluto at some point. Okay, so obviously that is not going to work. I'm gonna need to change this around a lot, but I think the same thing's gonna happen where like it won't even be a star if I change it too much. So let, let me see what I can do. Okay, well just changing it to the mass of only one Jupiter significantly alters it a lot actually. And then if I go down to like a moon, what what goes on with that? Okay, so it's it's tiny. But maybe that's what we need. What if we make it tiny, but still really bright? That's a thing, right? You can do that? Oh! Okay, no, you can't really do that. All right, let's 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 go back a little. It basically just gets to a point where it just blows up. There's just one point, it's just like too bright, and then it becomes this big blue thing. I wonder why this super bright object that is now the mass of the moon isn't doing as much inter- I'm pretty sure it should. This. This seems like not right. I, it would be brighter. It's right there. Okay, let's see what happens. I mean, please. Okay, so it's gonna burn because I changed it up a little bit, but all right, so that's not, oh. Is it just gonna become one giant lava planet? Is Obi-Wan and Anakin gonna fight there? Yeah, clearly the high ground has been lost. Uh, this is just one like earth-sized marble now, and are they gonna run into each other? I'm pretty sure they're about to run into each other. Well, the good news is it's at least orbiting. It is at least orbiting. It is shooting uh, stuff at us, kind of, but that's not too bad. Let's just see what happens when it goes to the speed of light, because, uh... Oh, it doesn't even exist anymore, huh? Wait, are we being thrown? Oh, we're being thrown around again. I guess that makes sense. I guess speed of light just forces it to move into a different direction or something. Wow, and it's moving that fast in sec- This is like only a minute- minutes are going by. So it's immediately shot out into space. <laughs> you know, one thing I didn't consider, if we had a sun, as a moon is the surface temperature like wouldn't we even if we made this work wouldn't all the humans just burn alive pretty sure all right we know what screw this let's just blow that up cause a super oh yeah these things are causing supernovas I, I guess it makes sense it's small so when it explodes it just takes out everything okay well why don't we just make a moon that's as bright as the sun maybe that would work. I think I might need to give it some hydrogen too first of all it's a little closer than before so uh, oh wow it's causing like Pretty big eclipses every time because it's just a lot closer. Wow, that is really cool. The shadow effects. All right. Okay, let's just throw a bunch of hydrogen. Oh, are we just making a Jupiter planet? That's not what I wanted. No, that's not bad. Oh, it's moving away. The orbit's gonna be a little bit weird, but yeah, it works. It's like popping right now. That's odd that it's popping. Is the popping going away? Not really. Oh, wow. Okay, so when you put the moon too close to the Earth, then it just causes, I don't know mass destruction oh and it's hitting there oh okay well i've learned from my mistake interesting so you definitely don't want that you def yeah i would say just to advise against it okay now what about just a second sun oh this is gonna go horribly never mind i was gonna say what about the sun at the same size right next to the earth but then i realized you know mercury barely exists as a as a rock so this is well, okay then. I do like how you can go super Wow, it turns blue instantly. That's cool. Also, what does this do to the entire- I didn't even realize, like, this is gonna mess with- Is- it wouldn't mess with the gravity of everyone? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we've got a whole new friend. That's the new sun. A, a big blue sun. But what if we terraformed the sun? Who knows how accurate this is? Uh, it's called the cool- the cool sun? There's no- Really? There's no way. This just looks like a giant weird earth. I don't think that this- I don't- I don't know. I don't know how much I believe in this. It would be a huge planet though. We need to uh, put some countries on here and watch them battle. Oh, wait a second. What happened to all the water? Okay, all the water just melted. 
Maybe. Is that, was that supposed to happen? Okay, never mind. This looks like a terrible place to live. Definitely don't want to live on a silver ball. Let's go ahead and run a little nuclear experiment. Just throw a whole bunch of nukes at the earth and see which side survives. I don't know if a side's gonna survive. Maybe if they're lucky. It actually looks like there's already some sort of nuclear winter going on. None of the missiles have hit yet, so I'm kind of confused about that. Let's just slow it way down and see exactly what is going to, wow, what is happening? Apparently water, oh. Okay, well, water just came back. It's, I don't know what's going on with the sea levels. It seems like a waste to just send some of these into the ocean, but uh, I don't know, fallout tsunamis sound cool. Oh, wow, some have already hit Africa, and uh, wow, this this part of the planet is pretty much already gone. Are we gonna go into like a nuclear winter, by the way? Is that is that a thing in this game? Oh, this side looks nice. Oh, it's all dark. Oh, that's cool. We don't even need the sun anymore. This is nice and bright. You don't need to worry about it. Oh, see, that's, that's my plan. You don't, we don't need a second sun. Oh, come on. Why would you hit Peru and Chile? They didn't do nothing. That, oh, well, there they go. Brazil has got some time, I guess, before they explode too. Oh, the US is already gone. US is long gone. Well, you know, not the whole thing. I think we're moving at a pretty slow pace. So the East Coast has, I don't know, a couple seconds to survive. Just say your last words. It's <laughs> slowly pummeling your, your death right before your eyes. The final continents that remain will probably be a little bit of America. And uh, oh, actually, you know, weirdly, this, this chunk is fine. They're, they're gonna be all right. They don't gotta worry about nothing. Oh, India's got all their lights still going. So clearly, Electronics hasn't been affected. Well, electron, I don't think that's the right word, but you, you know what I'm saying. Okay, and now it's starting to encompass the entire globe. Okay, so there will be no survivors. I want to see, like, nuclear winter. I hope that is a thing. Oh, good, good. We already have a couple of uh, debris now being caused, thrown throughout the solar system. I think those are, like, rocks coming from the explosion. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so, yeah, we're contributing a little bit to, to the rest of the space. Oh, we're contributing a lot, actually. Wow, okay, so all that debris is just going to go out there. Look at that, polluting the solar system like that how disgusting doesn't even look that bad a couple of black holes still left on the surface but that's all right just buff those out well we still got lights so honestly i don't know what anyone's complaining about oh yeah no that didn't do anything the lights clearly humanity is, is gonna live on everything is fine oh i don't know what we're complaining about 60 degrees fahrenheit like about 15 in celsius something like that this ain't a big deal i guess we could cause our own winter and uh that is exactly what i did wow that did not take long at all. Oh, well, there's a brief moment. Okay, so now we've frozen over all of the con- Wow, I really like this. This is aesthetically pleasing. Oh, and now we've just made one big ball of ice. Oh, I love how the craters still stay there. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, but did we really not drop that many nukes? It's like only seven, eight, ten hit us, maybe 20. Oh, and if you zoom out, you can still see all the old debris that we've sent out, and it's just kind of revolving. Actually, won't that stuff come back and hit us? One day, maybe millions of years later. Oh yeah, we're just asking for it. We are just asking for it. It's, it's gonna hit us. Oh, they're revolving around the sun. Man, this, this game's got a lot of science and stuff. I'm not used to that. Okay, but what if the same thing happened, but on Mars? Luckily, I don't care about the Martians at all, and you probably don't either. So this should feel pretty good. The first couple have hits, and they're clearly not that bad, right? Or, I mean, it's having a global impact. I can see the shock waves surrounding it but no these these aren't that well maybe maybe it is i guess mars is one giant desert so it's kind of like one huge american nuclear testing facility which we might need to think about that in the future maybe that's why elon's trying to get here just new place to test those things out all right yeah no definitely they sent a lot more less damaging but just a lot more in general this thing's gonna look like the moon, I guess, when it's done. I like how we can kind of zoom in and get an idea of how deep these craters are. Oh, that looks like a fun little area to bathe in. Okay, well, we saw what happens when the entire world gets blown up, but what if we just shoot something at a specific continent? You know, just anything. I, I, I don't have anything in particular in mind. Let's just shoot a baseball in Australia. This is very similar to Mars and no one lives here you know I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be nice okay so there is our baseball and uh it, it wait all right I lost it because it's yeah it's not very big obviously I was way zoomed in let's let's just see does that oh I think I messed up I don't know if I accounted for the turn of the earth I might have just shot that randomly in the Indian Ocean so that that could have been a waste anything anything I figured we'd see like a little explosion if it happened at night, but no, that was not a smart idea. I don't think a baseball is big enough to do anything either. So let's try a teapot. Let's just see how that works out. Oh, good, this is a nice view and it's fine. 
Nothing. Okay, so that didn't work either. How big does it have to be? A police box? Doctor Who? Can you do it? Maybe. No, come on. Please, at least light up. No, nothing. All right, here you go. Finally, let's just throw a pyramid at it. Let's just throw the Great Pyramid, and and now we should get something going. There, there we go. Okay. That's it? Just that- oh, oh! Okay, that did some damage right there. I'm wondering if- I'm, I'm assuming the weight, the mass had to do with it. That does look pretty large. Wait a second, how did that happen? Uh, I did not do that. Okay, so I just took out like a large portion of the ocean. Maybe actually a little bit more because it's still like freeze- it did- oh yeah! I don't know, I don't know. Did it break apart maybe in the atmosphere and now- oh! Or did they try to nuke it? Was- was the humans doing some Armageddon shit? Okay, yeah, definitely something very strange happened because there's things popping up all over the place. We just took out- oh, I feel bad! I didn't mean to- uh, someone got caught in the drive-by crossfire. So pretty much what I've learned is all it takes is an asteroid the size of a pyramid as well as like five or six baseballs to do all this damage, probably to end everyone. But let's go ahead and just launch some black holes to the solar system and see what happens. Just so- oh. And it looks like I just destroyed everything, maybe? I don't even know. Is this- is this where Matthew McConaughey was sent to at the end of Interstellar? Okay, but what if- give me here, what if a black hole was the moon? Now that should definitely be okay. Look, you can't even tell. Looks fine. What would that do to the light situation here, too? Let's just go- Alright, well everything just disappeared. Oh, no, 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 not everything yet. Well, everyone is about to get sucked into it. I thought- I thought there would be some sort of color. There's not any color. Now here's a completely different way to view this game. This is each country's wealth in terms of size based around planets or something like that. That's very confusing. I don't know how accurate this is. Uh, well, there's- there's a lot to look at here. Who is this? Singapore? Really? Hold on. Okay, but I would like to check this man's data. This does not seem right. Is that Luxembourg? I think that big purple one's Luxembourg. Then again, it's just kind of hard to tell. There's Germany way over there, which I love how the colors are accurate. Nice, nice one. Let's just let them blow up each other, cause, yeah. Can can you can you just get? Oh, there you, there we go. Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah, just just get them out of here. Oh, is that supposed to? Maybe that's what was supposed to happen. This is a prediction for the future. Oh wow, looks like these countries are doing all right. Australia doing pretty good. Dip Dominic- okay, I don't know about all that. Turkmenistan- okay, keep- keep on going. Oh, there's the US. Oh, was it supposed to be the sun or something? Okay, I guess that- that is- makes sense. Oh, the boot- the booty! Booty's coming after- oh! Oh, bam! Okay, got us right there. Okay, well that was interesting. I guess here's another similar thing, except in space. I think- I think you guys can all figure out what- what this is recreating. Well, at least I've actually found the US, so let's just- Press play and uh, see what happens. So they're they're getting bigger. I guess that oh they're getting bigger and now whoa oh the U.S. is getting massive. Who's that? Is that, is that oh British Africa? Okay. Um, are they gonna? The gravity should pull them all together, right? I love how South America is still not doing anything. They're just leaving. <laughs> they're not gonna be a part of this at all. I don't know where the Soviets and the U.K. are, but that's fine. Let's just increase the speed and see if they eventually get. Back to- oh yeah, see there- oh, something's going on over there. Please let me know down below if you have any ideas you'd like to see me come back to do in the future. I would definitely like to observe some more in this game. I don't feel like I've fully done my observing powers, and I can probably, uh, probably think of a few scenarios as well. But yeah, just comment your stuff too. If there's something that looks good, then I will definitely come back and try it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to LFC, Elijah Senpai, Roosterication, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, Bonnie Day Fami, Furry Cruise, Mr. Perkle, Cooter Donkey, Brandon Hinkle, Alfonso M6, Millitime, Mega Fat Boy 2.0, The Hentai Lover, Sleeper 56, Birthday Daddy, Bowling Like Stalin, Lol Knight, Cloven. Thank you.